One sec, one sec. I thought I saw Mbappe, didn't I? Someone's brought a cabbage. Hello? Hiya. Pep, you alright? Listen, you can't be Newcastle United's next month. I, I know they're going to be spending five bill in the market, I know. Absolutely ecstatic. Just look around, man. You can tell I'm feeling exactly the same as everybody else. Two people send a message to. First person, Mike Ashley. See you later, mate. See you later. This is what it's all about. This is what we've been waiting for. What is your message to every other Premier League club? Watch out. We're back. We're back. 
<laughs> I bet you wish you was there. Come on, the Saudi mags. This is my message to Newcastle United supporters. Your emotions right now don't need to be mutually exclusive. You can feel morally confused, but excited and relieved at the thought of Mike Ashley's 14 year reign being over. If you've got the memories of the 90s when you were title contenders, you wanted to be in Europe, you wanted to win trophies, and then you were turned into the Mike Ashley reign where you lacked any sort of ambition. You said bye to trophies, you said hello to relegations, you want that name, Newcastle United, reinstated. This is a one-club city where the fans, the culture of this club, it's football everywhere. I'm a Bolton Wanderers fan and I can say here with confidence, I never wanted someone like a Saudi Arabian to come in and take over at my club. I never wanted it. And the reason why was because I wanted Bolton Wanderers to be back. I wanted my club back, just like you Newcastle United fans did. But I had different expectations and different cravings for what it meant to have my club back. For me as a Bolton Wanderers fan, I wanted the community of Bolton restored. I wanted to feel like my owners had empathy and communication and could bridge that gap with me and wanted to. So we've got Sharon Britton, local woman, cares about Bolton Wanderers, cares about the people of the town. That's how I wanted us back. And I obviously wanted our ambition and I wanted hope that we would someday come back to the Premier League, but that was second. Whereas for Newcastle United fans, they want the name Newcastle United to mean something again. They want Newcastle back amongst Manchester United, back amongst Chelsea, back amongst Liverpool. There's no divine rights in football where you deserve it, but a club of its history, it makes sense. So for Newcastle United fans, what they want you need money to achieve it with the state the club's in now because of the 14 years of no ambition. Let's go!